Let's get on with the show now. Uh, talk about what's going on with football in Africa. We got up to that news that Maju Pinnick has been named the president of AFCON and, of course, media committee. So, how important is this appointment? No, it's, it's, a, it's a big one, big one for Maju Pinnick. That committee is, is easily one of the biggest committees in African football. Mm. Um, the last chairman of that committee was the CAF president so himself, himself. Um, Isa Yatu, because you are in charge of all Africa Cup of Nations competitions. Mm. Um, it's such a big, very influential position. And uh, Amadou Penik, um, um picking that up is good for him. Remember, this has been a fantastic year for Amadou Penik. In January, he was uh, uh, named in um, the be biggest committee in FIFA mm -hmm. to organize all FIFA competitions. Mm -hmm. A few weeks down the line, he got elected into the CAF Executive Committee. Not too long after that, he's now in uh, the president of AFCON. So it's, it's looking good for him. But the challenge that he has on his hands now is he has to begin to make impact. That's right. Not just for African football, hmm. but for Nigeria That's right. at, the, at the back of his mind. That's right. Also, the media committee, hmm. he has make impact with Nigeria at the back of your mind. You yeah. have to begin to let your presence in all these committees, mm. let them be felt. And I want to correct an impression. People think when you are in these kind of positions, you influence things for your country. I don't, I don't agree with that. You don't influence things for your country. If everybody goes there to influence things for their countries, then it ends up being um, unpalatable and um, uh, parochial. Yeah. You go there to impact the game yes. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and contribute your own mm. quarter. Oh, yeah. You want to, to agree to that, football. but you also want to say it should rub off on your country's football. Yeah, it has to. I mean, what Toyin is saying is that, um, I mean, f for, for the football matches, that because you are there, that, you you, that it, it necessarily means that uh, we have to win football. No, it no. doesn't work like that. Remember the last African Women's Championship, the Super Falcons defeated the Lionesses of Cameroon mm -hmm. right down in Yaoundé. That's right. You know, Issa Hayatu was uh, the CAF mm -hmm. president at that time. So it doesn't work like that. But, you know, but when you look at it uh, structurally, he is at that level, you know, top level. He should also begin to replicate such structures in our football so that, you know, whoever gets there, it will now become seamless. It will become easy to administer Nigerian football. But at this level, even issues as simple as transfers, you know, we have issues with them. Look at Stephen Ode, it's shameful. Mm. We don't need such, um, in, you know, such issues. Mm. So let the structures be replicated here so that everything will fall in shape, so that Nigerian football will take its pride of place. I agree. You know? I agree. So let's talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria now. Uh, Ganotro has released a list of some players. It seems they're ready for the Corsica camp. Yeah, the list of 25, and um, we were looking through it. Um, and, um, you know, for a long time, there have been speculations about who is on the list, who is not on the list. Mm. Four home based players are on the list. The highlights okay. are for me. Stephen Ode, mm. and you can take a good look at that on the screen. Mm. Stephen Ode, Iketiko Ezenwa um, is there. Dele Alampasu is there. Mm. Carl is injured, I know. and he's not going to be around mm. until uh, sometimes in July. Wow. So um, we have to try to test other goalkeepers and get them ready no, for Akwe. the challenges. Are they? Akwe is busy because this is not a FIFA window. Yes. Uh, his club is still playing. They are still playing league football in South Africa. So Akwe is not here. And I need to also clarify that this list okay. is just for the camp in Corsica mm. and the friendly against Corsica and the camp um, that we'll be having in, in, Fran in Paris, France, okay. at the end of the game. So these guys will not take part in South Africa? This, this or... is not the list for the South African game. Okay. You can see from this list, there's no Genio Nazi, mm. there's no Mero, uh, there's no Victor Moses, okay. the captain of the team is not there, mm. Ahmed Musa, um, I, I didn't see his name on, on, on that list as well. Okay. So this is not the list for South Africa. The list for South Africa will be out at the end of the month. Okay. But most of these guys will still be there. But this is not the final list of South but Africa. Say why? Because the, the team needs blend. Only yeah, why the, can't all of them come together the now? Very, very, very simple. I mean, the, the EPL uh, mm. ends on May 21, you remember? Yeah. And um, the FA Cup. FA Cup for the players in uh, Arsenal. Turkey guys and, are still and, busy. And Chelsea, still playing. You know, so it's understandable. I mean, mm. you have to give the guys some break after a very tedious season. So let's see how these players um, you know, perform during the campaign period. Mm. It could give the, the coach the opportunity to look at so, options. You know, options mm. in the absence of mm. these players that we're talking about, how can these players uh, fit in to the system? For me, um, we have to give again, try the benefit of the doubt. Let's see how these players perform against that friendly. I also learned that there's another friendly against Burkina Faso, if it's possible. No, 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 no. Okay, they're only playing a friendly game against, against, against Corsica. Against Corsica. You know, so yeah. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So, and, and, and who knows? Um, Alassane Ibrahim Alassane. impresses here. Yeah. Alassane impresses here. Yeah. Coach says, okay, I like what I see. 
Come around. Take your chance. That's right. Take your chance. Ahmed Musa right. was home based when he got called up. Vincent Yama was home based when he got called up. They became permanent fixtures, uh, features mm. in the mm. national team. So, mm. Olatu Bosun, Stephen Ode, Alassane, uh, um, uh, Ikejiko Ezenwa also have the opportunity now mm. to show that they deserve to be in the team for a long That's time. That's right. And I'm telling you, the weekend was also a good one for some Super Eagles players. Wilfred Indidi, uh, Olukai Ode. Um, and some other players. A lot of our guys are scoring goals now. It's, it's, it's good news for us. It's very gladdening that mm. these guys are scoring goals. We want them to keep up this form yeah. um, and bring it into the national team when we, when we gather. That's what we want. We'll go on a quick break now. We'll come back. We'll continue our watch on the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Don't go anywhere. Stay.